Hey, it's uh, Chris over at Dixieland Farm, and today we're going to go over part two of speaker placement. And this video is going to be the do not, things you shouldn't do. Um, I am a member of the VC Facebook page. I rarely post there anymore. I rarely go there anymore. Um, but what I do see a lot of times are setups that are not great. I'll be honest with you. And it bothers me, and, um, you know, this may be the best they can do, so I just kind of let it go. I don't want to be that guy who constantly points out, hey, you know, you probably should do this. Instead, I decided to make a video uh, doing that exact same thing. So, things to not do. Number one, I see it all the time on the Facebook page and on people's uh, videos. You should never have the speakers on the same playing surface as the turntable. So if you've got an expedite or a bookshelf or a table, don't have the speakers on the same thing as the turntable. Why is that? Well, you know, a turntable, a cartridge, is nothing but a microphone. That's all it is. It's just a microphone. But instead of uh, vibrating uh, a diaphragm to make electrical signals, we are vibrating a cantilever with a stylus. We're dragging a rock through plastic to make that thing vibrate that creates electrical signals with magnets and coils. When we play sound, we physically can affect that setup, that dynamic. You have something vibrating on the table, it finds its way up the turntable through to the cartridge and then back into your speakers. So just like uh, acoustical feedback, if you had a speaker and you're singing into a microphone and all of a sudden you'd get feedback, you're doing the same thing, but it's just mechanical feedback pouring back into the table. Uh, part two to that is don't have the speakers inside the cabinet if you've got an expedit. Um, one does the same thing. The vibrations come up through the wood, through the um, turntable. Now you could isolate the turntable with like an inner tube and a tile. Uh, Who's going to do that? Nobody. But you could. Um, but when you put speakers inside something, you are changing the acoustical properties of that speaker. The speaker's got a box, and it's designed for that box. And then you're putting it inside a different box. You've now changed the acoustical properties of that speaker and how it works. So if you've got an uh, inset bookshelf like I do right here, if you put a speaker into that thing, you are now changed the properties of that speaker. It may be convenient, it may be what the only place you can put them, but it is not the ideal placement. So that is number two of things to not do. Number three is don't change the orientation of the speaker. It's actually designed for a certain way. Turning it upside down changes the way it's designed, and certainly putting it on the side changes um, the sound from what it was designed for. I broken Number two and number three with my center speaker for my surround sound uh, home theater setup. Uh, I've got a speaker on its side and I've got it slightly inset inside a um, like a bookshelf kind of kind of platform. It's not used for music. It's only used for dialogue. It's a compromise that I decided was worth it to keep the speaker out of the way, kind of keep it centered with the uh, television picture properly. If I put the speaker behind the TV, it wouldn't have worked as well. So you do what you do. You know That's just the way it is. Those are three speaker do nots. Uh, number four is not having them at ear level. I sit on that couch, so I've had to bring up the speakers just slightly, so the speakers are kind of firing at my ears. Um, this makes a more realistic soundscape. So having them up real high is not a great thing. Having them real low is not a great thing. And not having them equal is not a good thing. They should be equal if you're trying to give the illusion of sound in front of you. That's number four. Uh, number five is not having the uh, adequately sized speakers for the room. This is a very big room. So we've had to make quite a big movement of air. How do we do that? We do that with larger speakers. So these speakers are... Um, Oh, about three foot tall. Uh, probably could use bigger, but uh, then I'd be looking for a new wife besides new speakers. So this is the biggest I could get away with in this room. Uh, and 
I want to try to recreate the sound like it would be in a live setting the best I can and that requires to move a lot of air in this room so I've got appropriately sized speakers for this room having smaller speakers will not do the same job I could add a subwoofer matter of fact I have a subwoofer um, and there are debates whether a subwoofer with music is a good thing or a bad thing you go back and forth on that but if you've got smaller speakers adding subwoofer is pretty important um, to get the feeling of music in your room um, putting speakers too close to the wall is not a good thing the wall will actually uh, act as part of the the speaker in that setup and bass frequencies change and get thuddier and uh, muddier the closer the speakers are to the wall so you'll see usually in audio file setups that the speakers are quite a bit away they want to hear the speakers not the wall so they'll be like four feet away now in the Sumiko Iron Chef placement whatever you want to call um, what I'm going to talk about in a future video the speakers are actually quite close to the wall in relation to other audio file setups um, that's part of the process so my speaker is really only a foot away from the wall though I've got this built-in bookshelf so I think that counts as part of the distance so that's closer to three feet away from the wall in this setup uh, another thing is putting the speakers in corners not a great thing also because the way the, the the angles are of the wall the sound reflects in a weird way they should be at least two feet away from any given wall uh, corner as well seven minutes those are the do not so far I look forward to doing part three and if you've got any questions comments leave them below love talking about this junk take care